Hi, welcome to PK Maths channel. So this year 2020, first PUC, very very important questions I am giving to you. So if you go through this question, definitely you are scoring between 40 to 50 marks. The students who are uh, feeling difficult mathematics, if you want to pass 100%, so you can go through these questions. The first question is, define modulus function, draw graph, write its domain and range. It's a 5 mark question. The second question is, define greatest integer function, draw graph, write its domain and range. It is also a 5 mark question. The third question is, state and prove binomial theorem. Statement also you only write, 5 mark question. Fourth question, prove that root 3 is irrational by method of contradiction. It's a 3 mark question. Another question, fifth one, prove that root 11 is irrational by method of contradiction. It is also 3 mark question. Question number 6, limit theta tends to 0, sin theta by theta is 1. Sometimes they can give limit x tends to 0, sin x by x. Limit a tends to 0, sin a by a equal to 1. It is a limits and derivative, derivatives question. It is also for 5 marks. Another question, 7th one, prove that cos of x plus y is, is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. It is a 6 mark question. You have the last 10 mark question in that uh, they will ask this 6 mark question. Another question, question number 8, define subset. It is a 1 mark question. Or they can ask define empty set. It is also 1 mark. Come back to the question number 10. In question number 10, prove that cos 4x is equal to 1 minus 8 sin square x cos square x. It's a 3 mark question. Question number 11. Prove that cos 6x is equal to 36 cos power 6x minus 48 cos power 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. It is also a 3 mark question. And come back to find the general solution of cos 3x plus cos x minus cos 2x. This is also 3 mark question. Come back to convert z is equal to question number 13. Convert z is equal to root 3 plus i in polar form. It is also 3 mark question. Solve root 5 x square plus x plus root 5 equal to 0. It is a quad equation question. That is also 3 marks. Next question number 15. For all n greater than or equal to 1. Come up prove that. 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus and so on plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. It is a 5 mark question math production. Question number 16. For all n greater than or equal to 1, come up prove that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus and so on plus n square equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. It is also 5 mark question in math production. Question number 17. Solve, gra solve graphically. 2x plus y greater than or equal to 4 comma x plus y less than or equal to 3 comma 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 6. It is a 5 mark question. Question number 18. Solve 2x minus 1 by 3 greater than or equal to 3x minus 2 by 4 minus 2 minus x by 5. It is a 3 mark question in linear inequalities chapter. Come back to sequence series. Question number 19. Insert 6 numbers between 3 and 24. The resultant sequence is in AB. It's a 3 mark question in sequence series chapter. Another question, 20th question. 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus and so on. Find some 2 n terms. It is a 4 mark question. 10 marks we have now 6 plus 4. That is a 4 mark question. Is the 20th question. Come back to 21st question. Derive the distance of a point from a line. It's a 5 mark question. Straight line. Derivation. Question number 22, prove that x square by s square plus y square by b equal to 1. This is the ellipse derivation. It is, they will ask for 6 marks. Come back to 23rd question. Find the equation of hyperbola whose foci, the conjugate axis of length is 24 given. It's a 2 mark question. Question number 24, derive section formula. This is also for 3 marks. Question number 25, find derivative of tan x by first principle. Maybe sin x and cos x, any out of these 3, anything they will ask. It is for 3 marks. Question number 26, calculate mean deviation about median. They given limit 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. And the frequency given 6, 8, 14, 16, 4, 2. Come back to 27th question. P of A 0.42, P of B 0.48, P of A and B 0 0.16. Then find P of not A, P of not B and P of A or B. It is a 3 mark question in probability. So if you go through all these questions, Definitely you can pass. Definitely you are getting between 40 to 50 marks in first PUC examination, final examination. I hope every student can utilize this one. 
you can share this video to your friends for better improvement of your friends if any students are feeling difficult if any question you want answer for this question please write in comment column i can send in the later videos the answers for all these questions we wish you all the best for your students if any doubt regarding any questions please comment in the comment column please like it subscribe it share this video to so many friends thank you all of you please watching uh, pkms channel press bell button for regular updates thank you for watching this video